What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I don't know if you watch Shark Tank, but I saw this thing, Windcatcher, on an episode of Shark Tank a while back, and I always wanted to check it out, you know. And uh, what it is is um, a an air mattress. Obviously, it's the Air Pad 2, but what makes it interesting is the way you inflate it. You still blow into it, but it uses... Hey, it's not... Uh, I don't know. It's not the Bernoulli principle... Uh, but it kind of uses the breath of air that you're blowing into it, kind of that low pressure to suck in air uh, around the actual stream of air that you're blowing. Now, I like air mattresses. They're really useful, especially for overnight guests or for camping, obviously. But uh, the Air Pad 2 here um, seems to be an air pad that you can inflate much quicker. So I'm going to open it up here. And not only do I just want to look at the air pad, but more than anything, I want to look at the mechanism itself. That's what I'm most interested in because you can get air, air mattresses anywhere. And uh, there's, to be honest, one of the things that disappointed me about this company is that they didn't really seem to want to license or the guy didn't really seem to want to license the technology. Uh, I'll be honest that a lot of companies are building some awesome air mattresses and this one doesn't really seem like <laughs> particularly anything special, but the the technology to inflate it seems pretty cool. So we do have like this metal uh, little hook here. It looks like a buckle, but it's no more than a hook. And a, an elastic strap, which is attached here, and a nylon strap, which holds the hook in place. So that's how the thing unrolls. So, you know, it's about the size of like a mini football or something like that. And then we'll just open it up here. And like I said, um, you know, there's, Obviously, the two sides, and this is the bottom of it, and it's like this gray nylon. You can see kind of this diamond weave on it. I mean, everything seems pretty decent quality. This thing, this thing isn't cheap though. It's like an eighty-dollar air mattress. Uh, obviously, you can get it from Walmart, where um, this one came from, but you can also get them on Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description, and then it unrolls like this, and. Then we can open it up here and the top part is blue. And that's the part I think you're gonna sleep on. And if we take a kind of a close look at that, we have the same kind of nylon texture. I just think it's just a different color. And obviously we have essentially what are, you know, looks like four or five inflatable tubes. And if I just unroll it all the way here, plenty of length for a normal sized person. Although I will say, it's not that wide, right? <laughs> which, which is fine, you know, for a single person to sleep on this, I think would be more than enough, but it's not that wide. Now, there are a couple straps here, so once we get it inflated, what these do are these, these unhook, from what I recall, well, it looks like they both are just kind of button snaps, and then you can kind of fold the air mattress over a couple times and make like a, a seat cushion kind of like a, a short seat. I think that's the whole point of it. Now, you'll notice here, we don't have on this side one of those regular rubber, small little valves that you blow into. In fact, they have printed instructions on how you work this thing. Oh, and they have a video help and tips. So you can kind of see how it works. But I really wanted to give you a really close look at this. So we open this up, it looks like. We just blow, so we open up this whole tube which is about the width of my hand, right? So it's gonna be a pretty big opening and then we blow into it. Hope I'm not so out of shape that I can't blow. And apparently a marmot or a groundhog is what you need to blow into the thing. So I think I finally figured out how this thing essentially works. So if you look inside the big opening here, which is kind of the size of a the small Ziploc bag, you have this inner sleeve as you can see it's clear plastic it might be a little hard to see here but you have kind of this inner um, channel and it's a it's a plastic tube and this is really the only pass through this is more of just a way to kind of uh, allow this tube to be opened or closed now it's pulled out of the bag here so what you want to do is when you want to blow into it you got to stuff it all the way down your hand and your wrist and your arm I guess can fit through it it's pretty big i suppose but you want it to all be tucked down there so when you're blowing you have a clear channel into the rest of the air mattress now when you deflate it i think this thing is going to pop back out like this it's going to kind of push that sleeve 
out this way but this is but you got to push it down to make sure it's nice and clear so that you when you're blowing into it um you know the air is going to flow into it and then because the air is going to want to rush out because of the pressure being created by the mattress that uh, little plastic sleeve is going to kind of collapse on itself and keep the air inside so now the thing is you're going to want to hold it on this side just to keep it open and then blow in there and i think it's the bernoulli principle that's going to mean uh you creating a low pressure area is going to kind of suck air around uh the opening here in there as well so hopefully this thing works so i've got it kind of spread out here i don't know if i'll be able to get this on camera really but i will try it here All right, so um, I will say I'm impressed, I guess. You know, I have taken a few big breaths, starting to get a little lightheaded, but I would say that those kind of breaths through the nozzle, which is which has a kind of a standard nozzle on the side, right, that you can open or close and breathe into here, uh, kind of traditional air mattress style, um, has seemed to fill it up. And I haven't, and I'm actually a little surprised because I haven't really created any direct pressure on something kind of forcing it forcing it open now um, it's obviously not filled if i were to lay on this i'd be right on the ground but i think the idea is that you're kind of generally doing the bulk of the fill using this kind of opening and then you can kind of top it off here uh, you'll also roll up the neck of this thing which will kind of push a little bit more air in there but i want to just take a couple more breaths here you're seeing this real time and see if i can get it any fuller Okay, so I was able to get it fuller, and I will tell you that I was pushing my face right up to the opening almost on this, and now if I roll this up, kind of push the air from the neck in there as well, use this little hook, close off this roll top, which is just kind of like a, a dry bag for rafting, and yeah, not uh, I wouldn't win any awards on air pressure, but now, if I were to lay on this, it, at least I'm suspended off the ground. And you don't want an air mattress to be as firm as it possibly can be. Otherwise, it's just, it's not like, it's not comfortable. So, uh, this does work. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. I mean, the, the concept of not putting your mouth right on a, a vent and kind of getting it gross um, and having to reuse it. I think the other advantage is... Uh, you're bringing in a lot of air other than your breath, and so you, you know, kind of the atmospheric air, so you don't have that that humidity and moisture from your saliva and your lungs getting inside the mattress either, which can cause, you know, gunk and smells, but also to have a lot of moisture in there will uh, can rob your body of some heat. And then lastly, it just seems to maximize or kind of multiply your breath. So I, I am pretty impressed with it overall. Um, that's how it kind of works and I could absolutely sleep on this. Now, if I do, I'm kind of curious a little bit. I think you fold it like this to make a, a seat. You fold it over once like this and I think you fold it once back. And now, folding it like this means that I have, man, um, kind of a ton of air pressure, which is probably what you want. And then you would take the snaps from the side here and kind of snap it to this to hold it down. So there's another little button snap right there. So if I were to take it like this, snap it down, that will hold this side down and now you kind of have a chair. Um, okay, uh, you know, cool, cool idea. I think, you know, this could work, but it doesn't seem really high enough to be a real kind of a chair. It's more like a low ottoman, but it's kind of a nifty idea. I'd almost rather have it like the back end here be able to be braced vertically so you have like a, a lounger almost kind of like a chaise lounger or something like that but um you know 
making the most of kind of what you've got. Otherwise, the material seems pretty good. I will say that in the box, there is also a little patch kit. So obviously, they're not advertising this as totally indestructible. But overall, it seems like a pretty nice, uh, usable air mattress. And I will definitely keep this in my inventory because, you know, blowing it up through this seems kind of like the way to go. So there you have it. Wind catcher, air pad too. Peter Von Panda, out.